Merry Christmas from Lady Christmas, my beloved friends. Today I want to show you how to do arrangement based on a Bible verse. Um, Luke 2 11. It's about birth of our, our uh, Lord Jesus Christ. And I have beautiful nativity set. See Joseph, Mary, and baby Jesus. And I will show you how to do it. And if you, if you want to just give some gift to your church, or maybe you believer like me and want to keep it in your house, I want to show you how to create that piece. So, look. I have all materials right in front of me. Different kind of poinsettia, some berries, red berries, poinsettia, and winter greenery. Actually, no one knows exactly time when Jesus was born, but it's symbolic, symbolically we, we celebrate his birthday in um, December, so I have some winter greenery. And you, you will need some tools. Glue gun, glue sticks, sharp kitchen knife, wire cutters, and scissors. You also will need some floral wires, see? Because I will show you how to do beautiful loops and put it in arrangement. It, uh, inside, inside big, ugly, heavy balls. So I do my design a little bit different. First you take a piece of styrofoam. If you need to cut some edges and shave it a little bit, just shave it from the side. Then you take this nativity set, always start from big pieces. See, and you put some glue there. And very carefully press it to styrofoam and let it dry a little bit. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I have Lazy Susan here, which is very helpful when you do arrangement. Because you can, you can turn like that and you can see arrangement from all sides what you're doing there. Then I always recommend that you start from greenery. And I like some sticks like that. They look very natural and give you some natural look. So what I do right now, I'm just sticking that stick right here. And then I pour a little bit glue. Then we will do some berries like that, red berries. And I always give some direction to to stems when they will look a little bit more sophisticated and pretty. And again, pour some. Don't forget to pour glue every time when you do that. Then we go with longer stems. Look, I'm doing that in the back, in the back of arrangement, like that. That will be beautiful gift for dear friend or for your pastor or for church or, or just keep it in your home, in your fireplace, on your mantle, on top of your fireplace, of course. Then I have little steam like that of winter greenery, beautiful pine and some, some look, it look like a uh, little frosted thing there. We we'll put in the back, on the side. This is another winter greenery. I keep it really long and goes in the back. And I will show you what I did in the back right now. See? You just stick this greenery in the back. I have another winter piece here. I already cut it all. You need to cut it before. Uh, you start doing arrangement, but you have to know how much you need to cut, so it, it's up to you. You're the designer. If you want to change something, feel free to change, but that's how I cut stuff, because I already know where I want to put it. 
I cut it not very long and not very uh, so this one cut long in the back up front they're not very long so we add some little gold greenery here and this is beaut silver, beautiful silver poinsettia then we will put some other poinsettia right here right in the middle and I will show you back and I will put another red poinsettia from this side and then I glue everything then I'm taking these little gold stems and I will put all around Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus like that Just make it make sure you you have it all around. Okay? You know. I think it will be a very nice addition to your house. And this arrangement means a lot. To me personally because I'm a believer and I believe Christ the reason of our seasons changing and I believe he came as a baby in the earth and basically split time in half and his mission on earth was very important because he did it, he came from the heaven, from different dimensions. How I believe heaven is different dimension for me. And he was, he died on the cross for one only reason, when you and I have, can have eternal life. That's why I really get upset when people forget the real, true reason of, of Christmas and turn all just for fun and Santa Claus and elves and all these different symbols when true reason just kind of push aside and this is not right one more here Then, I will recommend you to take all these little pieces and push it a little bit down. And open poinsettia like this. Make sure they're all open. And voila, you piece ready. Now look what I'm doing here. I'm taking... Let me show you. Oh, scratch. This is beautiful ribbon. So you you making one loop with this beautiful ribbon, and I have floral wire here. So just one loop. Then squeeze it like that and twist it with floral wire, and then. Just wire it around steam right here, somewhere you want. I think it look cute right here. Then take scissors and trim the end like that, fold it in half and trim the end like this. See, you have nice end now. Then the same thing I have already already twisted, twisted uh, I did it already with this ribbon I feel like it needs to be somewhere here in the middle I just wrap it around steam 
And then again, I twist the end like that. And you can glue the end a little bit and it will stay wherever you want him to stay. Make sure all your leaves looking down when you can see styrofoam. Then, see how it looks like? Then I'm doing third loop. I'm working with third loop now. The third loop goes right here, right behind point seven. And you can work with this loop, put it down. It's very, it's not difficult, not complicated piece for, for beginners. Anybody can do it. So you can squeeze it right around and put around stems and around leaves. You also can do this. Let me show you. Take ribbon, cut it, cut the end. I like loops, loops. I don't like heavy bows unless you put in the car <laughs> somewhere or on top of the tree. But loops look very nice and very tasteful. So that's what you can do too. So look look how I'm making loop. Then I took these little leaves and steam and I put a little glue there. And I wrap my loop around that. Then you have this little end to stick it in styrofoam wherever you want it. I will put right there in the end, on the side. Can you hear how styrofoam making noise? And again, just spread it out around and let it shine. See, I have little sticks here. They look very natural, but I like them because they're flexible. They're artificial, but they look natural. And I squeeze the stick a little bit to make sure you balance. In, in floral design, it's like silk sculpture. You're building silk sculpture. You have to watch your balance and your colors. This color is perfect here right now. Perfect with nativity set colors. This piece is ready. I, I, leave, I left back not decorated because I am planning to put on my mantle. So you can see actually back. And it's flat. It will, it will fit my mantle. But if you want to do it like a centerpiece, you just need to add some more greenery in the back. Some more leaves, some more greenery and just go around. And voila. It's ready. Ah, I just forgot to mention some very important thing. You see arrangement made in a piece of styrofoam, you see that? On the styrofoam you can glue little piece of wood, like we sell in craft store, or felt. It will protect uh, your table and wherever you want to put it, and it keeps styrofoam from crumbling. And around styrofoam you can glue little ribbon around. It will look like a nice container.